hi guys welcome back to the channel um today we carry on with chainsaw man episode number five so for this uh episode quite interesting um we start off with my boy denji and powers in the bathroom right obviously denji is about to get his long life dream fulfilled okay um so power says dude come through um denji then goes ahead uh goes in for the first squeeze then a bunch of pets fall out of his you know they fall out of uh powers's shirt and his like, t-shirt she's like and he's like what the hell is going on here then she straight up tells him nah i've got this in me for for some visual enhancement you know and then denji goes in for the second and third one right powers is all happy she's like deal fulfilled but you can just see the sheer disappointment on denji's face you know to say that this is this is it you know this is it he even we even see him go out through the day he has his breakfast goes all the way to work still disappointed right gets to work speaks to makima and tells her that dude have you ever had a dream and it was just so underwhelming right now he goes into specifics to tell makima what it is um and that the chase right of the pursuit you know the chase of the dream is actually more fulfilling than the actual attainment i mean and we i think we all know that this is true you know how many of us had or have dreams where the actual grind you know is motivating i mean you look at myself with this channel at the current time that i'm recording this you know i'm quite a small youtuber but you know i'm motivated i want to see how it goes but who knows one day if the channel blows up i might not be um as excited i mean now I, I, I can also relate this to when i was losing weight you know when I, I like i used to be very obese you know the grind to wake up and see that number go down on the scale was so refreshing you know it was so motivating than the actual goal that i reached right but nonetheless oh man we get another steamy scene chainsaw man is low key as soft so, some soft core stuff okay i'm not gonna lie so after denji discloses to makima what his dream is they they do this whole routine dude hot and steamy makima eventually even lets denji touch you know um but yeah then makima says to denji if you can kill this one devil for me right the gun devil for me i'll fulfill any one of your dreams oh you know my boy his mind <laughs> just <laughs> you know his mind just had to run away and then he was thinking about oh man i'm about to get some real action okay um so now we get a bit of a flashback with regards to this gun you know gun devil right we get to even see a storyline um of this young kid is in bed with his parents is sick then his sibling comes through and he says dude come play catch with me uh, it says dad come play catch with me but then the younger brother who's sick goes out they go into the snow they play catch and then as they go back home um the elder brother standing behind the younger one gets into the building and automatically the building blows up you know and then that was our backstory for aki right now we get to see where that deep-seated hatred for devils come from it's actually because you know he lost his family to to devils right which is it was like quite a great um great short story okay obviously i wish they had played it a bit long but i think it was short and concise straight to the point right it accomplished what it needed to essentially um then we go back to to makima and denji and makima essentially says something about how gun laws got stricter after the gun devil appeared and i'm like to myself well what was that what was that going to accomplish right because the gun de uh, devil is essentially um a creature with its own autonomy how do gun laws impact that uh, the, the devil's ability to do harm right but she did say that you know when the gun devil essentially came out it emboldened other devils as well to come out so that made sense to me right that made sense um then we get a shot of um aki and kimino right kimino that's her name yeah so essentially then 
we get the confirmation that it was Aki's family, right? Because in the, in the flashback, we didn't really get to see the names, right? Of who's who, right? And we get to see that Kimino and uh, Kinimo, Kimino and Aki are sort of, you know, uh, determined to essentially get this gun demon and slay it. You know, it's personal for them, right? Uh, then essentially, uh, we've got our first crew, okay? We've got Special Division 4. Um, they are going out to hunt for, you know, the demon. I mean, the devil. And then before the, so we get this scene where they're approaching this building where they suspect that the devil might be hiding in, right? And then again, we get another scene, okay? We get to see um, Kimino motivate the guys to say, whoever kills the devil before me, they get to give, I get to give them a kiss. And Denji says, ah, I'm cool. I've got my own goal, you know, thinking about my Kimo. And then um, Kimino says to him, dude, if you win the competition, I'll put in some tongue in you. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, she just put diesel or petrol on freaking fire, man. You know, Denji straight up rushed, rushes into that building, walking ahead of everybody just to show his sheer motivation. Okay. And then we get our first action scene for the series, which is essentially this little big headed demon shows up uh, with hands, right? And then that's where we get to see our first display of Kimino's powers, right? So essentially Kimino, she has, um, she made a deal with a ghost devil, right? So the, 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 the ghost devil essentially loans her hand in exchange of, you know, her eye, right? Very interesting. So the first time she explained that power, I was like, ah, but Kimino's power is a bit shallow, right? You know, especially for trading in half of your vision, dude, right? But when you actually think about it compared to Aki, right? Aki's power or his deal with the fox, you know, it's 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 like a lot of power. It's 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 you know, it's a biggest creature um that can essentially destroy buildings, right? But when you think about Aki, every time he uses that power, he essentially has to give back or feed the fox demon. So him, while the power is big, is grand, is strong, he's sort of limited in the amount of times he can use it. Whereas Kimo, Kinimo on the other, Kimino on the other hand, she can essentially use her power unlimited, even though it might not be as powerful, right? So yeah, a fair trade, I think, for both of them, right? One thing that I will say, though, is that... Um, we get a flashback, right? We do get a flashback of Kimino. Um, we see her at a funeral. We see her a bit bruised up. I think she had just made the deal with the devil, you know? So we don't know whatever happened before her, you know? And then it seems that Aki as well as Kimino are the seniors in the team. And then we've got Denji, we've got Power, and the two other subordinates who are the, 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 the rookies of the squad, essentially, you know? And the guys have this internal deal to say that don't die on me essentially i don't like hearing those kind of statements because those are usually a telltale sign to say that somebody might die okay and then after they the, okay so essentially um kimino picks up the demon with the powers and then powers powers the actual devil pulls out a sword and cuts it in half right then they proceed to walk into the building then one of the rookies the guy walks down the stairs but then appears from the top, you know, and the team is, is freaked out. They're like, dude, what the hell is going on? Right? We just saw you go down the stairs, right? But for me, I think, obviously, we've got some devil that has the power to manipulate space and time. I'm, I'm suspecting I haven't seen the next episode. Quite keen on seeing. Or it could be a building demon. Who the hell knows? You never know. I mean, a building devil. Who knows with this? um animated series but overall solid episode obviously solid um you know so solid storytelling not a lot of relying on the action and i will say i think for chainsaw man it's not really about those well choreographed um action scenes from what i'm seeing so far it's about more the gore the comedy uh, which is quite interesting but yeah great episode i'm interested on in seeing how things develop further guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a comment, please like the video, and please subscribe to the channel. Check you guys next time.